Are you ready? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Vinyl Talk with Tavis. And I'm Tavis. Just came back from home with my parents and celebrated Thanksgiving. It was beautiful. Do you like this hat? <laughs> I like this. Merry Christmas. The holidays are here. And today's Vinyl Talk with Tavis is all about my holiday vinyl collection as it is so far. This is how this channel started. It started with me showing a Christmas album that my dad loves by Johnny Mathis. And I'm gonna show it in this segment. But let's just start showing some Christmas vinyl. Holiday vinyl. First, I found this today. It wasn't until I got involved with the VC that I knew or that I learned that Jackie Gleason was a musician. I never knew that. So when I saw this, I immediately thought of many of you who have shown Jackie Gleason's music. So this is Jackie Gleason's White Christmas. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's called White Christmas. I've not listened to it, so I look forward to it. It has White Christmas, Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Jingle Bells, Blue Christmas, all the classics. Man, I never knew that he was a um, was into music. And hell of an actor, though. This in pretty good shape. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. <laughs> you can't go wrong with a little bit of handle, the Messiah. Is it Christmas? Well, for unto us a child is born. That's a Christmas theme. I found this at the thrift store for a dollar, the two record set. This is phenomenal. Phenomenal music. And as a music major in college, I mean, we sang this every year. <clears throat> and even now, you know, I teach the kids about it. And hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Great. Have you all heard um, uh, the Quincy Jones version of this? It's called Handel's Messiah. A soulful celebration. Now that's something I would love to get on vinyl as well. I don't know if it's on vinyl or not, but I'm going to check. Handel's Messiah. Handel's Messiah. Whichever you want to call it. Now this is the classic. This is Mariah Carey. Merry Christmas. This is the limited edition of Red Vinyl. Iconic just an iconic record. When this came out in 94, am I correct? Yes. When this came out, we knew that it was going to be the bomb. All these years later, it still is. This just has to be in everyone's Christmas vinyl collection. We knew this was going to be a classic. And it is. Every song on here is magical. The Mariah Carey, Merry Christmas from 1994. Any version will do. I love all versions. The red, the black, the green. Whatever you get, much needed. Then we have the Charlie Brown Christmas. What can you say? Just a classic album. I think I did a video about this way back when I first started this channel. But I don't mind talking about it again. And I, I, I gave this 
I gave one of my versions to my guitar player for VCLT. I think he was really pleased. This is just on fantasy, black vinyl, beautiful as can be, phenomenal music, classic, awesome music. You need to have that. Now this is my all time favorite Christmas album and I have about three copies. So if any of you all want one, put it down in the comments below that you would like one and I'll draw your name and send it to you, okay? I'm serious. I think I have three copies of this. This is the Ray Conniff Singers. We wish you a Merry Christmas. I think I mentioned this in a previous video. Um, I first was got familiar with this group or with this album when I was listening to a Christmas themed radio station during the holidays. And they started playing um, Ring Christmas Bells. Ring Christmas Bells. And I just found that to be so captivating, this version. And the ending note, the ending chord is really, is phenomenal. It's just, it's a minor major chord, diminished. It's really a beautiful chord. And the sopranos reach this high, high note. And it's just, that's what got me into this. And when I got it on CD a long time ago, probably about eight or nine years ago, I just fell in love with the entire project. So this is a phenomenal project and it just turned out to be my great Christmas album of all time. It even beats Mariah Carey because it's so traditional and that's what I like. It's elevator music. I don't care, I love it. And I have, I think three copies. One, two, <laughs> and let's find the other one, three. And I found this like for 99 cent in some thrift store, but it's still in good condition. So if you're interested, let me know and I'll send you one of these. Um, I think the newest one I have, yeah, is CBS Records. Brand new, you know, got it from Amazon. Awesome condition. My favorite Christmas album of all time. Thumbnail. Yeah. This is it. Ray Conniff and the Ray Conniff Singers. Here he is. Great music. You can't go wrong with Nat King Cole. Nat King Cole, the Christmas songs. Oh, I'm sorry, the Christmas song. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. What a perfect album to have in your collection of holiday vinyl. Then we have Dean Martin, Holiday Cheer. I have this in my collection, but I've not listened to it. I've had this for a year. I think it was the great Richard Wiley who just recently said, you don't have to listen to it. You just have to collect it. I believe that, but I'm going to listen to this between now and Christmas. Dean Martin Holiday Cheer. Look at all those great tunes. Just the same wonderful traditional songs we know. I've got my love to keep me warm. Winter Wonderland. Out in the cold again. Baby, it's cold outside. I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. I got to go away. This is good stuff. Dean Martin. Now you saw Mariah Carey's Merry Christmas. What about Merry Christmas 2? I did a video on this. Probably it was my second, my second video, I believe. It has like a thousand views, I think. This is, it didn't do as well as her first one. But this is a good album. I love it. I love it. It's in, I bought it brand new last year. 
Yeah, I talked about it last year. Awesome music. Mariah Carey, Merry Christmas 2. And it's just a beautiful cover too. Isn't that nice? Then we have Andy Williams. Merry Christmas from Andy Williams. You gotta have him in your collection. You hear him all the time in the stores. You do. You know you do. You might as well buy it. It's worth it. I've listened to this. Awesome music. I love the holiday season. I love it. You want to get a little gospel -y? You want to have some Jesus in your life? Even more so? Mahalia Jackson. Woo! This is a good Christmas record. Christmas with Mahalia. Christmas with Mahalia. I tell you. Silver Bells, Do You Hear What I Hear, White Christmas. Really, all the all the Christmas music, they're like singing the same songs, just with different styles. You know, just their voices add something new, um, a different nuance, a different texture, a different way of announcing that the holidays are here in their own special musical way. Yeah. Then we have something I've not listened to. Yet. Grandma got run over by a rain. <laughs> I've not listened to this yet. But uh, I need to listen to it. This is from Elmo and Patsy. Nice price. The nice price. The nice price. Here they are. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. This is a nice album to play for kids. Don't you think so? I think my kids may like that. Then we have, I have another album by Nat King Cole for Christmas called The Magic of Christmas. I think it has pretty much the same songs as the other album. Let me check and see. Let's do some checking. Side one, the Christmas song. Side one, Deck the Hall. Well, I must tell you, I must tell you, both of these albums have, um, what's that tune? Cradle in Bethlehem? Oh, man. Cradle in Bethlehem? That's what got me loving Nat King Cole uh, during the holiday season. I was asked to sing at this event for, um, it was... It was a, a big Christmas celebration in Oklahoma. And there was an orchestra. And there was a chorus. I mean, it was it was a gigantic event. And the director of this event asked me to sing Cradle in Bethlehem. I'd never heard it. I didn't know that Nat King Cole was singing it. So she gave me the CD and I listened to it and I fell in love with it instantly. And when we rehearsed with the orchestra, I knew it was something special. And then the night of the show, it was just filled with all types of artists from all over. And they were singing with the orchestra and with jazz bands, but I got a chance to sing Cradle in Bethlehem with the full orchestra and the chorus. It was magical. I wish it would, I wish it would have been recorded on video, but it wasn't. And um, when I when I left the stage, I was in tears. It was so beautiful, and I had my tuxedo on, just and it was just like it was this version. It was this version on this album. Wow, you need this in your life. You need that. You need this in your life. You need it in your life. You really do. Yeah. Then we have the one that started it all. This is the record that started this channel. Merry Christmas by Johnny Mathis. My dad's favorite Christmas record because it reminded him that Christmas was here. The holidays were here when he heard this on the radio. He'd be picking cotton, um, doing something in the cold weather, you know, and um, he would have this little transistor radio 
and when he'd hear Johnny Mathis singing uh, Winter Wonderland, he knew Christmas was here. So when he told me that story, I just had to share it on YouTube. So my first video was about this. This is an awesome album filled with great music. It was Johnny Mathis' first Christmas record, and he knew it was something special when he recorded it. And I have two copies. Two copies. And I love them. Love them both. Then we have, we're going to end this thing with Ella Fitzgerald. Ella Fitzgerald's Christmas. Phenomenal record. I've listened to it over and over. Um, during Thanksgiving time, I was playing it. So um, she's singing Oh Holy Night. As you can tell with the stained glass windows. She's, her music is um, on this album is very religious. So I was glad she did this. I'm so glad that I have this. So those are my Christmas records, ladies and gentlemen. And um, I hope you're playing your holiday music. I hope you're enjoying the holidays. And I wish all of you happy holidays. Have a wonderful season. And as always, with music and with holiday music especially, be inspired. And stay inspired.